So I promise you this channel will not become the Tom Brady fan hour, but I feel this situation between Tom Brady and the Kansas City Chiefs, Tyran Matthew, needs to be addressed as much as possible and as loudly as possible because we cannot live in a society where if you can win, win. But if you can't win, go ahead and call out racism or call for social justice and never mind taking responsibility for your own actions, just destroy this man's good name, say he said something racist to you, oh wait, no, Tom Brady was mic'd up the entire Super Bowl and he can prove that he didn't say anything racist to you? Okay, never mind, let's quietly delete that tweet and pretend it never happened because this situation is much bigger than football, it has to do with our society and how everything's kind of falling apart and this really isn't helping anything at all. So let's go ahead and get to what happened over here because it was very easy to miss this kind of sub story along with the Super Bowl. So from John Boy, I'm not going to play this whole video, but you have Tom Brady and uh, Tyran Matthew jawing at each other, and that's just a part of the game. And then Tom Brady throws a uh, touchdown pass to Antonio Brown, which is supposed to be defended by Tyran Matthew. And then Tom Brady runs up to him and jaws at him even more. And Tyran Matthew later on went on Twitter saying that he called me something I won't repeat. But yeah, I'll let all the media throw me under the bus as if I did something or said something to him go back to my previous games against Tom Brady, I showed him nothing but respect. Look at my interviews about him. I show him grace. And the thing is, oh, I show grace. And the thing is, though, is I believe that Tyron Matthew, I've seen his other post-game interview. He seems like he's a decent guy. He got caught up in the moment. And there's nothing wrong with this trash talk, what they're doing right now. If you go to any um, sporting event or you, if you play any sports, if you go to any gym, any park and play a game, a pickup basketball, there's going to be trash talk. And that's just expected. It's not like these people genuinely dislike each other. It's just a part of it. But the, the sad fact is, is it, this situation just makes Tyran Matthew look like a sore loser. And rather than saying, okay, cool, I lost and I lost my cool or whatever, I'm just going to say he said something racist to me, or at least allude to it, saying he called me something I won't repeat. And the way the political climate is right now, the way that Tom Brady has been seen photographed with former President Donald Trump, or the way that Donald Trump has seen photographed with a Make America Great Again hat, he's alluding that he did something terrible. And if it was true, this would make Tom Brady a terrible person. And all the things they're saying about him true and would probably ruin his good name and he'd be canceled. And that's what this is doing right here. And the idea is, you saw this where, uh, I believe it's Bleacher Report, Gridiron, talked about how, oh, Tyran Matthew in a deleted tweet on the incident with Tom Brady, the top reply was from Buck season, he deleted it for a reason, so I don't know why you're posting it. And it's like, yeah, he deleted it because he didn't want to talk about it because he obviously was caught in a lie because the next reply was, yes, Brady was mic'd, as in like some of the players get a microphone the entire game because when they do the, uh, the HBO series or special or the... Um, the DVD that goes along with the, your championship merchandise or memorabilia, they like to say, oh, what was Tom Brady saying there? What was the inspirational things? Like, get inside the mind of Tom Brady, a champion or something like that. Yeah, he was mic'd the entire time, so the dude got caught in a lie where it makes sense that, yes, <laughs> it was going to be proven that he was a liar and not the fact that he may have been a bit of a sore loser even though I don't call this being a sore loser this is just trash talk trying to get into somebody's head as part of the game and it's actually a strategy in most aspects but now he's trying to like you know lean into the whole thing with the rest of the world where it's like yes Auburn all, Auburn all day starts saying that Tyran Matthew gets picked up all game or picked on all game gives up a touchdown to a wide receiver who had already retired basically accuses Brady of using a racial slur then deletes a tweet once he found out that Brady was mic'd up all while losing the Super Bowl by three scores that's tough and that's a situation of yeah that's pretty bad that made a just losing a game hey you're still like one of the greatest athletes of your generation the top one percent of athleticism in America top one and wealth in all America and whatever the one loss isn't gonna isn't going to tarnish that but the idea is you made it all worse like this but is this a genuine strategy for athletes right now where if you can win super bowl champion i doubt he's making this tweet saying oh yeah tom brady said this thing to me or is this another colin kaepernick move where you can win if you can be a super bowl champion be a super bowl champion if you cannot win go ahead and just say racism oh my god i'm another victim of this terrible uh, white supremacy that Tom Brady is, or the narrative that he's a Trump supporter, or make him, whatever it is. The idea is you had to stoop to this because this was your knee-jerk reaction to the situation. I don't think he sat down and consciously thought, oh, Colin Kaepernick, he found greatness after football by saying that he was a victim of something or he stood for something else or whatever it may be. Colin Kaepernick was on his way out of the NFL. And now you have people like Mariah Carey saying, oh, this is National Colin Kaepernick Appreciation Day because of social justice. This has become a recurring theme with sports. 
football celebrities or whatever when you had somebody like jesse smollett where i believe i may be getting this wrong but i know that he wanted to get more money out of his contract on the uh the empire tv show but i believe it was at the risk of being written off the show so oh yes maybe if i put himself in world on the front on the forefront of all social justice wokeness and everybody's talking about me and all of a sudden I'm bigger than Empire. People know about Jesse Smollett more than the TV show. He's going to get a bigger contract, getting more speaking roles. The show is going to be catering to him a good bit more if he becomes front and center attention for the social justice woke movement. And then it kind of backfired on him. Well, you had Colin Kaepernick. Okay, well, my, maybe this is going to be that moment. I think it's just kind of a knee-jerk reaction of, yes, I'm losing. Let me try to call this guy out on the thing. Oh, wait, he was mic'd up. Okay, let me take that away. And the idea is people talk about how over here, the top comment from the uh, Bleacher Report was, oh, he definitely called him the N-word. How, how, how do you even get there where it's just like, if he did, if he called him that, I think it would have been a bigger issue. He would have, I, I just don't, I, I can't see this as being something that's legitimate. And I can't see this as being something that's going to be talked about a lot more after, a lot more after like, you know, the Super Bowl kind of fades into obscurity and people aren't talking about it. But this is a huge situation because let's say Tom Brady isn't who he was. Like he was just the Buccaneers punter and he was jawing at somebody else and he wasn't mic'd up and nobody would go speak out on his behalf. And he didn't have multi million dollar endorsements and a huge contract and he could just be easily cut from the team and just nobody would really care about him. This is just one of those false accusation moments where, yes, you don't want to look like a sore loser, so make sure that, you know, you don't throw me on, the media doesn't throw you under the bus, but never mind tarnishing a good, innocent person's name. I hate everything about this. And I mean, maybe I have to shut my mouth in a month where later on they get the footage from Tom Brady actually calling him a terrible thing, but I can 99.9999% sure, 99% assuredly say Tom Brady didn't, didn't call him a racial slur, but this sure as heck makes it seem like he did. So that's my take on this. And this is something that I did want to address because we need to shed more light on this stuff. We need to be able to call it out when it happens and not just be like sweeping under the rug saying, oh yeah, well, you know, nothing happened of it. He deleted the tweet. Stop talking about it. It's like, no, this is a serious accusation doing a very volatile political climate and against a, you know, I don't want to call him a controversial character, but what would be a controversial character if this was true or if this gained any steam or if Tom Brady wasn't mic'd up? I just, I hate everything about this. So if you appreciate my moderate take to current trending topics or political topics or political events, make sure you subscribe down below, turn on the notifications and possibly like this video. Or if you really want to help me out, share this video with someone that would like a moderate take to current events or just someone that appreciates, you know, my fast talking nonsense that I put on YouTube. But as always, thanks for stopping by and hope to see you in the next video.